Hey guys, it is Thursday, November 3rd. I am about to meet, I'm actually at a parking lot again. It seems like almost every video has been a parking lot. I've been out there working. Um, I had a, just got out of a board meeting um, with the Spring Clan Chamber of Commerce and they told me that I'm actually the elected chairman for 2017 to, th to the last part 2017 to 2018 so it's such an honor and a privilege um, to be elected and it's official I've been nominated and approved by the vo board and they voted for me so that is such I mean I'm just dumbfounded because for one like I told you guys I don't even live in spring I live in West Chase near the memorial and Galleria um, in between there and then also, I actually um, am meeting with another group of individuals who are asking me to be part of the board for this elite charter school in Houston. And so I'm meeting them. I met one guy, but I'm meeting the other three tonight. I'm actually going to be eating at Union Kitchen, which I'm excited because they have yummy food, um, this evening at 6. It's 513 right now. And um, I wanted to share some news. Um, yesterday, one of um, a, a close friend of mine, actually, um, not a close friend, well, kind of, yeah, she is. Um, she prophesied to me that I'm about to move really soon and I'm moving to spring. And the craziest thing is, as I guess remember, I was looking at houses in spring area and I was, um, I met with a realtor and she said, you're moving soon. And I was like, wow, it just confirmed. And she doesn't know I was looking for homes. Only you guys know. And my mom, but she doesn't know. And uh, so that just confirmed to me that God is definitely doing something behind the scenes. You know, um, in the natural, I see, start seeing things like talks, but nothing official. And, um, but that's what faith is. Faith is being excited about something before you even see it. Um, I know there's a lot of prophecies over about my finances and from a, from a, um, uh, th what you see in the natural, like if I look at my bank account, it's just like, really, you know, sometimes they're like, really, that's going to happen. But my heart and my spirit is like super excited and happy because I know what he told me and that the Lord will, is faithful. And one of the things that I... I realized that sometimes I would share these visions with people and you know it's not for everybody and some people see the vision and some people don't and what God has shown me is those people who see the vision now and are supportive those are the ones that um, that is going to be part of my next season and the ones that aren't seeing it and you know like they're so blinded by it unfortunately there are the people that it's not going to be part of my next season and and the amazing thing is i realize that this is a time right now where i need to be in consecration and really seek god and ask him for direction as far as who it is that's going to needs to be connected with me to my business to my organizations because there's going to be a lot of leeches people who's going to tag along because they start seeing success but then for the past three four years they're like mia so it's amazing because I started seeing it where people are reaching out out of the woodworks and saying, hey, let's get together, let's have coffee. And it's sad and it's unfortunate, but that's the reality of it. It's like, you know, people are in it for themselves. And, you know, the people that have been there for me through the tough times and have supported me and have been my number one encourager, you know, when I would have these events and they would be, you know, drive, you know, um, from across town to come see me speak and all this other stuff those are my real friends and then you have those people who just wants to be your friend when you know you could do something for them and, and that's a word for somebody right now um, but really you all need to be careful and you can't cast your pearls to swine and keep the pearls to people who it's worth it and when I say worth it meaning they're actually seeking good things and they're there because a lot of times there's people who are lazy and just want handouts and the lord is telling me you know i everything that i have done and have accomplished you know with god's wisdom it's stuff that god didn't just give it to me i worked for it 
I spent hours and hours and hours late at night, getting up early in the morning, studying, investing lots of money, doing everything, reading his word, reading his principles, applying it to get to where I am today. And so I won't feel sorry for when that time comes and the full manifestation of the harvest of everything I've been working hard for for these past seven years starts happening because I planted my seeds. You know, I sowed in the kingdom, I sowed in myself, I sowed in the community, I volunteered so many different things. And, and when my harvest comes, like people can't say anything because they don't know the price that I paid to get to where I am. And, um, and it's okay. And I've accepted that, that there's going to be people hating, there's going to be people talking crap, and they're going to think I'm stingy and greedy and all this other stuff. And one of the things I've learned is I just can't. I, I just don't have to worry about it. I can't worry about people's opinions of me. And, and that's hard because, you know, I want to help everybody. And, you know, I do have a, a, a compassionate heart and I do care about people. But I realize until, until people want to help themselves, even if I help them, it's going to go to waste. Because they're not going to know how to... Um, they're going to lose it all because they don't, they don't have the discipline and the tenacity and the will willingness to do what it takes to be successful so um anyway so that was that um so i'm excited about that but um overall it was a productive day i've had a few people reach out to me as far as working with me um i'm still in my little cocoon and i'm trying to figure out how i can um uh manage my time better um and uh, it's difficult because there's so much things that's um, in my brain and, and that's in my the vision that God has given that he wants to do. But um, I really need to take it slow and have discernment and wisdom on which ones he wants me to focus on. But right now the Lord is telling me to rest because I'm about to get busy. So praise God for his goodness. Praise God in advance for what he's about to do. I'm so thankful and so honored to be able to share this journey with you guys and as you could see there's a big difference um just in this last few months and i know that if it could happen to me it could happen to you so be encouraged god bless you all and you guys take care bye